Yes, I was the writer on Red Rock Blues. Great idea, until that wretched director got hold of it. I mean, this man had no track record in narrative film at all. I think he'd probably directed a couple of documentaries and some home movies. He took my script and totally ruined it. Oh, Red Rock Blues. Yeah, that was a special experience. Yeah, my, uh, my agent sent me the script, 90 pages. <clears throat> It was uh, sort of okay, not great, but, but doable. And then he called me and said, you've got uh, one day of prep. So I went down and met the director. Well, this was the most arrogant, egotistical man I think I've ever met. We had our one day of prep. While we were doing it, he then sprung on us that he was going to shoot 90 pages in 10 days. And the result of that, of course, was that we were working night and day. And we were all working for scale. <laughs> they offered me back end points. I mean, that was a joke. Anyway, somehow or the other, we struggled through this mess. And eventually got, got the whole thing done. But then, uh, to my absolute amazement, um, he turned out you know, a moderately successful film. I was really surprised. Work for him again? Well, yeah, I'm an actor. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I need to work. And, uh, that's just the way it is. <laughs> Red Rock Blues. Oh. Yeah, that was a special experience, believe me. Yeah, and first time narrative director. Hadn't a clue, didn't know which way was up. No idea about camera placement, lens selection, framing, nothing. Um, and then he uh, agreed somehow to shoot the whole thing, 90 pages in 10 days. Um, Quick rehearsal, lightning zip through, one take, printed. Thank you. Fortunately for him, the actors realised very quickly what was going on. Wise enough not to take his direction and able to get onto it by themselves. And uh, in fact, uh, they succeeded in, in, in doing a reasonably good job. Terrible experience. Never want to go through that again. I mean, this guy, directing, he couldn't have directed traffic in an empty parking lot. Glad to get out of that one, believe me. Would I work for him again? Under no circumstances. Red Rock Blues. Never forget that experience. Red Rock Blues? Oh, what an absolute bloody nightmare that was. I mean, they sent in their brushes every day. They were on hard drives. No markups, no dope sheets. Half the shots didn't have slates on them. We had to sit here and try and match up the shots to the to the script. Took us forever. Then the director came in and tried to take charge of things. I mean, this man hadn't a clue. In the end, we had to stroll through this thing. Sound? Oh, it was awful. Director sat here for hours. Couldn't make his mind up about anything. In the end, we just had to sort of force him to come to a decision. He'd shot two completely different endings and he couldn't make up his mind which one to use. So what did he do in the end? What he did was he put both of them in. I've never seen anything like it. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, work with him again? Not likely. Oh. Red Rock Blues, yep. That was my first narrative directorial effort. And it was amazingly successful in the face of every conceivable problem. To start with, of course, it was a very limited budget and we had to shoot 90 pages in 10 days. Believe you me, that takes a bit of doing. And we weren't helped by the people involved. The writer, oh, this did, this man, I mean, you couldn't get him to change a comma, let alone a word. Had to kick him out of it pretty quickly, rewrite the script completely and, and make some sense out of it. The basic idea was okay, but it was completely undeveloped. So I succeeded in sorting that out. We just started to the shoot when the cinematographer was taken ill, had to find a replacement cinematographer. So you can imagine what sort of cinematography you get at, at no day's notice. A bit of a dud. I mean, this man, he couldn't have lit a cigarette, let alone a set. And it was really tough having to get these pages done so quickly. In the end, I forced him and his crew into, into actually working properly and getting the job done. Somehow or the other, I, I succeeded in getting to do it. Fortunately, we had a good group of actors, and so that worked out well. Then we went into post-production. The editor, Weary Willie, we called him. 
His idea of editing was just to stick it together and hope it looks okay. Well, so I had to take charge of that, make the thing work out properly, and in the end I got it sorted. And we went on Red Rock Blues. It was, it was moderately successful. So it just shows you how you can make a film out of a heap of garbage into something worthwhile. Here I am now, directing Hollywood million dollar projects. But it takes a great director to be able to sort out something like Red Rock Blues, and I succeeded in doing it. Just goes to show, doesn't it? Great directors can produce good results.